guys today we're gonna talk about how to maximize any window in Mac and let's take a look at this one this is an example of finder uh, it's not full it's not in a full screen it's not maximized and if you hit the plus button here it's not gonna maximize it until the end as you can see here I have a little space and I don't want it for example would you like to do this thing that I'm gonna do now just by dragging the uh, status bar here to the top it maximizes the whole window and this is not only in finder you could use it on any any app and for example here is Safari and again it's not maximized to the end I want to maximize it just simply by dragging to the top or if you want to put it to the let's say left uh, side of the screen you could do this way or to the right side of the screen and you could open for example two uh, windows simultaneously Safari and Finder here so how to do that there is an application called better touch tool uh, let me just show you Right, here it is this is better touch tool it's a free application go ahead and download it from the let me just show you the address just go ahead and search for it in Google and you can go to the soft onic.com uh, and download better touch tool for free and again as I said it doesn't only uh, work with Safari and Finder it works with any application that you have installed once you install it it's gonna ask you about maybe five minutes later or something like that sometimes it just asks you immediately if you want to maximize uh, the windows just by simply dragging it to the top or to the sides just go and uh, hit OK and uh, that's it you're done and be sure also to always update or just sit in advanced that you always want to update and by the way every time you restart your uh, Mac it's just gonna uh, disappear from the status bar here so you want it to, st to start every time you start uh, your Mac so go to settings and launch better touch tool on startup and that's it so every time you have a window that is not maximized uh, for example let's make this one smaller this Safari every time you have it not maximized just go and drag it to the top or to the sides and you get the idea so thank you guys for watching if you have any idea about any Mac tutorial or tip just let me know in the comment section down below and see you in the next video